Now, remember, remember when I told you guys that uh, we had to, in our library.java, in our book.java, we had to implement serializable? Well, this is the reason why. Write object takes in a serializable object. So this, this would, this wouldn't work if, it would probably throw an IO an exception, an IO exception if this, if this line of code wasn't here. So that's why it needs to be serializable. And you're probably wondering why, well, if we're just, if we're just writing the library object, why does the book object have to be serializable too? Well, the book object needs to be serializable too because the book object is inside a library object. So when the Java compiler is serializing, when it's writing our object as a serialized object into a file, it's going to look at library and it's going to say, and it's going to serialize all of everything. It's going to serialize all its attributes. Now by default, the uh, primitives such as ints are serializable by default but this is not so the Java compiler is going to say well okay I'm going to just serialize this object too and it's going to look at book it's going to look at well is book serializable and if it's not serializable if it doesn't implement serializable the Java compiler will say hey this is not serializable so um, make it serializable that's why that's why we need it to implement serializable. Okay, we're pretty much done with our uh, save and quit method. And let's move on to uh, list all books in library. And this is really pretty easy. All we're, all we're going to do is uh, system.out.println and remember that library to string method that we uh, wrote well we're gonna make use of that and voila we are done now let's move on to our last case and add a book to a library and this is also very very simple so what we're gonna do is uh, let's we're gonna create another method and I'm gonna call it add book yeah we're just gonna call it add book Again, create method, scroll down, where is it, there we go, and what we're going to do is just, okay, we're going to create an integer, no, actually we need to uh, just go back to our book class and just copy and paste this. and just delete the um, uh, security modifiers delete all the privates now we're gonna do a, a series of prompts for the user so system dot out dot print line new line enter huh what do we want the user to enter first well it doesn't really matter let's make the user enter the title first Oh, what am I doing? Make sure this is a string. Oh, sometimes autocomplete can be a uh, a bleep. Enter title. So title equals uh, in our scanner dot next. And we're just going to copy and paste this four times because I'm we're lazy. Instead of title, we're going to say author. Instead of, we're going to say ISBN. Just capitalize this. And the price. And just set this to uh, author. ISBN. And make sure this is next int. Or integer and price also make sure this is next double 
Okay. Now we have all of our uh, all of the attributes that we need to create a book object. So let's actually create a book object now. So book B equals new book ISBN. Hold on. It takes an ISBN string title author. Okay. IBS ISBN's title author and price. And then we need to add this to the library. So lib dot add the book. Remember this is the uh, method that we created. Let's add the book B. And we now completed our add book. And now we're done. 